first impressions of the Ford F-150 Lightning. You're gonna to wanna to watch this because we're gonna be covering acceleration, braking, handling the interior, the sound system. We're gonna go through it all. Is it worth the money? 110,000 Canadian, 97 US dollars for this Lariat extended range. We're gonna cover it all. Acceleration, handling, comfort, and we've got a really great basis point because I've owned over 70 vehicles. Just in the background, you see my Ford F-150 Raptor EcoBoost. I've got a Mustang GT V8 five liter in the garage. So I've got a really good basis point of knowing whether something is good or not. However, I don't have a great basis point. I've been reminded I don't have a lot of style. So we've got someone here to help us with the style. We'll uh, let them out, you could say. So we've got Marie here to help us out with style. So she'll be letting, she'll be giving you your feedback in regards to styling and Marie hasn't been in the vehicle yet. She just saw I'm the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you, you are, okay, sorry. You've been in the vehicle, you've been in the trunk, but you haven't been in the cabin. So Marie's first impressions are true first impressions. She's never felt the acceleration, the handling, the braking nothing so come along with us for her first ride and I can start by saying before we talk about style um, one Marie thank you for being here you've got uh, great style so you're here to help that part in regards to the channel but I'm loving that this trunk can handle 400 pounds and 400 liters so Marie did you break the weight limit are we okay do you really want me to help you with this video I do. So, Don't ask that <laughs> so Marie, uh, what's great? She has excellent style, and she does fit Thank in the trunk, you. in the <laughs> front. Now, I wouldn't leave her in that front trunk for very long because you can actually use this as a cooler. Uh, you can use it for measuring. So let's check this out right here. You got the 400 pound weight, 400 liters. You can use it. You can measure away as Marie is showing us right here. You've got your anchor points for tying things down. You even have some plastic ones up top, but if you got anything heavy, do use those metal anchor points at the bottom. Now, if you want to hop right out, yep. give it a little hop so you pass the paint because we haven't <laughs> clear wrapped it yet. That is one accessory I love. I love wrapping the tops of my hoods, the grills, and the front bumpers. And do keep in mind, first impression, I do know someone that has you know, the, this grill and the rock chips were actually pretty hard on the plastic. So you do want to clear wrap that right there. Now, if we do open this up, you can see there is a drain plug down there. So you really can use either just the bottom section or the whole thing as your cooler. And you know, whether it's game day, whether it's providing electricity for yourself or others, Marie, if you want to open that yeah. right up there. So you've got your outlets. Of outlets. So let's check that out. You even have USB regular as well as C, which is what all the cell phones are running. So you wouldn't want to be trapped in there, but at least you could play around with your cell phone <laughs> and check out YouTube videos. Do like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to not miss out. Now let's start covering that front style. We'll do it together because I've got, you know, I've got a little bit of style. At least I have a lot of um, previous experience with vehicles. I've owned a lot and I've been working in the business for quite some time. Now, I'm liking the style of F-150. It is very truck. Ford wasn't trying to go, you know, super futuristic with this. They want you to feel comfortable in owning a truck. And you know, I've owned truck trucks for over the years. One of my first vehicles, uh, quite a number of years ago was a truck. I had a 91 Ranger loving my f-150 raptor and the style of this is very truck so i like it i feel at home and if you're looking for an ev that's more truck f-150 is your solution you don't want to go to gm you don't want to go to chevrolet they're looking more futuristic whereas the ram uh rev <laughs> they're ram ev well that truck is somewhere between futuristic and you know looking like you know being recognizable as a truck at first i wasn't a fan of the mags as much i wasn't sure about them as soon as i put on the bf goodrich ko2s they're a little knobbier it's kept the original size to save on a lot of money but i feel that that's a great look um yeah. i'm 
Yeah. And for the mags, I really loved it at the first sight. It's not like John. I found it um, original. We don't see that often, that kind of mag on other kind of vehicles. So it says it's a lightning. It's not a regular F-150. So I love it. Yeah, and those mags are designed in regards to um, capturing enough air for the brakes, but not having having as little drag as possible so you can get more range and autonomy now right behind me you can see we've got the mirrors there i do love the 360 degree camera on this very useful getting into uh, snowy driveways without picking up the sides of the snow bank so great backing this thing in and out of just about anything the lights are probably one of the pieces that i'm most impressed with and i'm sorry this is this vehicle is being used in the real world and it's winter so it's a little dirty but it lets you know this is what white looks like when it's dirty and i think it still looks fantastic white this thing's covered if this was black <laughs> it'd be a different story but these lights down here are absolutely fantastic um, they're great because they actually follow the road so you turn your steering wheel and they're turning around and they also look really good lit up so let's check that out when you've got these lights lit up they don't actually flash this way just like when you're seeing interior shots of any vehicle that's got you know driving aids you always have this blue flashing light your eyes don't pick up on that the camera does so your eyes do not pick up on this blinking uh, that is that is purely only because it's being filmed right now but those lights have a lot of style they're looking really sharp now of course the grill is closed up they don't need to bring air to an engine and that's where i've got a little problem i'm really i really like this grill but it basically it's the same grill whether you have a lariat extended or not and it looks very similar to the grill on an xlt so and these mags are also used on the xlt extended range as well as the lariat regular standard battery so there's not a whole lot differentiating this between you know less expensive models now marie you haven't been shopping these that was my job so you just know overall what it looks like can you give us a quick little rundown of what you think the vehicle looks like from front to end then we'll jump in and we'll go for a ride and i can promise you that is going to be worth watching because marie is uh, quite entertaining when you put the pedal to the metal <laughs> So let's talk about style, Marie. So for the style, I love that we see that's a, an electric car. So with the, the LED bar that we have um, up for the grill, uh, the grill that is close to, we see that it's electric. Uh, so it's a different kind of F-150, but they still um, keep the body of the F-150. So we recognize it easily. We know that it's a Ford, so I love that. I uh, love the mags, like I said just before, but I really love the the newest look uh, because it's an electric car. So yeah, the, that's well done, I guess. <laughs> now, I'm liking the hood. The hood's got a lot of definition to it. It doesn't, you know, it's not screaming, look at me. That would be a Raptor hood. <laughs> and some manufacturers, that's the only style they apply to their vehicles. Whereas this has, you know, it's a, a classy look at me. You have to be really looking at the vehicle before you notice. But the lines on the hood are great. So you've got it, it kinks up, then it comes back down. You've got another line right here. So a well-defined hood. I'm finding that very nice looking. Now you've got these charge port doors on both sides. Maybe the other side is in case they want that already there for when they bring this to Europe. Uh, the mirrors now you can only have this with these mirrors you can't have you know big huge toe mirrors and you can't have a six and a half foot box that's going to bother some people i think it makes sense this is not your best towing vehicle now we're going to be testing it out with two jet skis so you know under three thousand pounds about two to three thousand pounds but we're going to be testing it out i don't think it's going to have a horrible effect on range but when you do pull this is a 6300 pound vehicle and when you pull about seven thousand pounds with this well we all know we've seen the videos range goes down and i will say range goes down in the winter but i'm not having any issues with it now if you do want to tow heavy with this if you're doing short distances it's a great towing vehicle you barely feel anything when you tow if you're gonna tow light yeah very useful and of course the five and a half foot bed uh, where this truck is really useful is at hauling so that's 
things in the box, you put a thousand pounds in the box, you drive, it's barely going to affect range. So let's take a look at the back end of the vehicle and have Marie present that, <laughs> present that for us. Oh, for the back, I really love that they did the same thing as the front, so the, the line of light, uh, it's really sharp. And as you see in these lights, the, the, I really love the form, but we see an F-150 written there. And I love that the lightning is written in blue. So with the body uh, white like that and the blue, uh, it's really, uh, we see that it's an electric car. I love it so much. And as you see, the tailgate still have the F-150 written there, almost like the other one. But I really love that they keep the look. Uh, so it's authentic. <laughs> and you have uh, here a little step uh, in plastic, so it's, it's easy to go on in the box. I really love this. Yeah, easy to get in the box without scratching anything. And the black, I like how the black of that plastic goes well with the lights. It's, you know, the plastic up top, everything fits together. You even have the plastic down here to protect against stone chips. You got another one here. And you're saying, yeah, you really like those steps. And I really love the lights here. I don't know if it's a... Uh, um, a nice feature that we will use but <laughs> for now I really love that it's the first time I see a light in this step like that and it's not that much a futuristic look so I love it too because many man manufacturer uh, does a special line a triangle and <laughs> other stuff like that but this one is still classic so I love that great yeah so you want to just light that light up again for us on the running board so you got the light there and these running boards you got plastic where you're going to be stepping and if it was clean you'd see that there's also a, a glossy black running board so it's got a great look they'll tell you what your trim is right on the door so we're going to jump into the vehicle here see what we have keyless entry of course see what we have in regards to interior impressions and a first drive so Marie has never been in this she is now just seeing it for the first time so come along with us and stay tuned. a whole lot of fun in the snow this thing's got instant torque so you press on the pedal and it goes sideways I love that that's awesome so let's just uh, wait for it and uh, get another little bendy in here and see how this feels in the corners with all this snow but I've been having a blast with this 776 pound feet of torque so you just give it a wee bit of gas it's pedal and there you go it's off it's sideways and it's a good time love my f-150 lightning